Welcome to episode one in the fifth album of the Serve Then Sell podcast. I've got Tara Cochran with Olive Fox Design. And you guys, this first episode is all about how someone like her, a brand strategist and graphic designer, helps someone like me, a direct seller. Hey, and likely you too, right? In this episode, we are going to explore our relationship from the smaller things that she's done for me, like printables, to large things like brand revamping and creating an entire website with e-commerce. Tara is going to provide some very specific examples and let you know when to hire someone like her or when to do it yourself somewhere like Canva. Without further ado, let's talk to Tara. All right. Welcome Tara Cochran from Olive Fox Design to the Serve Then Sell podcast. Hey, happy to be here. I am so jazzed about this album and even more so for this episode because as a direct seller, you have been helping me for well over two years now. It's so exciting. It's crazy to see how much our relationship has grown. It is really fun, and I will let listener, you got to know, you want someone like Tara in your back pocket, or I would say she's a partner of mine. Yes, I have Canva or PicMonkey or whatever, but I need Tara because she is an expert. Tara, do you mind telling me how you got involved in graphic design and kind of what your background is? Yeah, so I actually started in high school with graphic design. So it's been over 15 years since I first opened the Adobe Suite and all of uh, that that encompasses. And from there, I actually went to school thinking that I was going to do business management and marketing at NC State where I went. So another North Carolina place um, that we have kind of in common. I ended up you have to take one of every discipline in the business degree. So I actually switched over to accounting once I fell in love with the numbers and everything that comes with accounting and that nerdiness. Um, And then I launched my career and started out in client service and audit. And I did that for seven years. And then I kind of had this little period of burnout. And I wanted to circle back to something that lights me up. And that's how I started back into design was just as a relief from the day to day of the corporate grind. And I started out just doing an Etsy shop and playing around with calligraphy. And honestly, you are one of the inspirations for me to actually pivot my business into more of brand strategy and design, which really marries that background of audit, which is going into businesses, understanding everything that they have going on and translating it into numbers. And now I do the same thing. I go into businesses or help personal brands and I translate it into visuals. So it's a lot of the same skills just translated into a different medium. And a few people like you came up to me after seeing a few of my Etsy shop designs and asked me to do small projects. And then from there, it really evolved into finding that niche into helping businesses grow in that way. It has been such a cool relationship. You know, the listener probably isn't as familiar with graphic design, but they are familiar with direct selling. And I've got to tell you, friend, I hit Tara up when I needed a printable. I needed a printable for an in-person event. And I said to Tara, I'm not as good at Canva as I thought I was. I need your help. And you did that initial, it was a calendar printable. I've got to say it was one of the smallest jobs you ever got hired for, right? (laughs) Yeah. So it's crazy to think back because that was really that tipping point for your business as well as my business and kind of finding our footing. And that's when I started taking on the custom projects, like doing things like the printables um, and then kind of making them into something that really fits into everyone's individual business. So those small projects are were a really great way for me to explore my own brand and figure out the direction I wanted to go in. It was awesome. And then from my end, what was cool was when I needed the next different thing, which actually ended up being a podcast tile for my other show, Run Lift Mom, I said, oh, I love working with Tara. She's really insightful. She's smart. She she knows what it, like when I have a vision in my head, you bring it to life. And so we worked together on just 
defining my personal brand. You help me with a style guide with colors and fonts and that tile and a logo. I mean, the the gamut. Do you do that a lot for small businesses, entrepreneurs? Yes. So that's actually what I mainly focus on these days is helping out with brand strategy and design. So helping solidify the person that you're talking to and then bringing to life all of those visuals you talked about, like a logo or a podcast tile and the typography and colors. So that's definitely my my realm of expertise these days. Yes. So like you mentioned, it's really a huge time savings to have somebody that you're working with because you won't be sitting there researching what does this color mean and how can this translate into your brand? You'll have that person already there who's external, who can give you a very clear path forward. Um, When you're doing things and you're looking in your own business, it's so hard to design for yourself. So it's great when you have that second set of eyes who can come in and help give you those foundations or the building blocks. So specifically what I like to do is I like to provide a strategy for all of my clients that will help them go forward. So they'll have visuals like a color guide and a logo and typography. And you'll have all of those building blocks so that when you go out and you're making your own Canva graphics, it'll be easy because you know exactly what you want to pull from. You'll have a color style guide and you can just pop in those colors and make everything yourself very easily. Or some of my clients choose to take it one step further and they want me to create templates for them that they can easily update on their own. So a PDF template or a Canva template that if you have a quote that you want to share on Instagram, it's all ready for you to go and you just have to change out the text and it's going to be perfectly reflecting your own personal brand. And for the person listening, again, I know you've probably got Canva, right, on your computer or your phone, but the really great thing about putting this in the hands of someone like Tara is, one, the time savings, and then two, Tara, you, what you brought to life was 20 times more beautiful than anything I could have attempted. May I ask about your personal process in that? Like, when I saw my style guide, I was like, oh, yes, this is a reflection of me. This is a reflection of everything I've been posting on Instagram for the last year. As the designer, what do you do to bring that brand to life? Well, first, thank you. Um, And really what I do is I do a lot of background research. So this is where that nerdy accounting auditor background and that curiosity comes into play. So I think a lot of people when they're doing design, they want to skip ahead to just doing the fun stuff and picking out the colors. And just like one of your past guests talked about, a lot of building your personal brand is all about that background information and understanding who you're talking to. And because you and I had had a personal relationship, it was very easy for me to pull out that background. And you already had a very clear path and who you were talking to on your social media for over a year. It was easy to just pull out those certain things that, oh, this color will reflect these values that Susie's already putting out there in the world. It was definitely great. And everyone knows that I'm the mom of four small children. And so the time savings for me was huge. So Tara, we're going to get into the nitty gritty in the rest of this album. I wanted people to have a macro level view of what a relationship for a direct seller is like with a graphic designer like yourself. Thank you so much for coming on and just telling us about who you are and what you do. Thank you so much for listening to this episode in the album with Tara Cochran from Olive Fox Design. You can find complete show notes with details on everything that we're talking about at tara.servethensell.com. That's tara, T-A-R-A, dot servethensell.com. And don't forget to pass this on to a friend that you have in network marketing or direct sales.